In this video, we want to introduce you to the concept and clinical results of a new multifocal IOL concept, rotational asymmetrical multifocality. This new concept forms the basis of a new series of alternative multifocal IOLs, with the Oculentis M Plus multifocal IOL being the first to be developed. The lens is semi-meridional, divided into optical sectors, creating a truly pupil-independent intraocular lens. The very steep semi-meridional transitions between the reading and distance sectors of this lens minimize the reflections in the direction of the optical axis. When the light hits the transition area to the embedded sector, this will be reflected away from the optical axis. This will result in a minor loss of light intensity and at the same time significantly improved contrast sensitivity. No ghost or double images should be propagated and significantly less glare and halo effects should appear. These images for far and for near are clearly separated and will be exactly in line with each other without image jump on the concentrical optical zones produced by either refractive or diffractive rotational symmetrical intraocular lenses. Overlapping is thus reduced and neuroadaptation will play a minor role in the performance of the lens. How is the surgery with this lens? We use microincisional cataract surgery through incisions of less than 1.2 millimeters, and then we enlarge the incision to 1.7 to 1.8 millimeters. The lens is implanted. It is a very flexible lens that goes straight forward into the capsular bag and should be placed inside the capsular bag with a notch, which is visible in the lens, oriented towards the six o'clock position. This guarantees that the lens position will be adequate for the optical purposes of the lens. These marks indicate the horizontal level in which the lens should be placed, and the lens should be placed about this position. We have recently performed a clinical study aimed at comparing the visual acuity outcomes as well as the ocular and intraocular optical quality in patients implanted with either monofocal or the Lentis M+. In such study, a total of 52 consecutive eyes of 29 cataract patients with ages ranging from 36 to 87 years were included and assigned to one of the following two groups according to the IOL implanted. Group A, with 28 eyes implanted with the monofocal IOL AcriSmart 48S from Zeiss. And Group B, with 24 eyes implanted with the Lentis M Plus LS312. The analysis of the outcomes revealed a significant improvement in the uncorrected and corrected distance visual acuities as well as in the distance corrected near visual acuity in both groups after surgery. As expected, significantly better values of uncorrected and distance corrected near visual acuity were found in eyes implanted with the M plus IOL. In the defocus curve, the range of focus in near vision was significantly wider in those eyes implanted with the multifocal IOL with peaks of maximum visual acuity approximately for the levels of defocus of 0 and plus 3D. This was expected considering the theoretical optical behavior of this lens. In addition, significantly better visual acuities were observed in eyes implanted with the M plus IOL for several levels of positive defocus. When the M plus and the monofocal group are compared, no statistically significant differences in photopic contrast sensitivity were detected for any spatial frequency. No significant differences in contrast sensitivity between groups were found under low mesopic conditions. A positive significant correlation was also found between the level of intraocular tilt and primary coma. This means that significantly higher amounts of post-operative intraocular primary coma were found in those eyes implanted with the M plus IOL and showing a trend to tilt, which indicates that this lens probably should be implanted associated to a capsular tension ring.
In conclusion, we have demonstrated that the Lentist M Plus IOL is able to successfully restore the distance and near visual function after cataract surgery with excellent performance by near and intermediate vision. The intraocular optical quality of this lens may be improved in conditions of tilt and decentration with the use of capsular tension rings and is based on the clinical opinions of patients. Now we're going to show you the personal opinions and interviews that we've had with patients implanted with the Oculentis M Plus and cases such as Joan, a patient with unilateral cataract and an active life. Patients with previously failed multifocal IOLs, unhappy due to the photic phenomena and optical performance of these lenses, and patients in which the first eye was implanted with a different IOL, and how they compare the performance of this new lens with diffractive multifocal lenses. The first case is a male, 60 years old, operated on the right eye with a diffractive multifocal Acrylissa intraocular lens and implanted in the left eye with the Oculentis M+. This patient was moderately happy with the right eye and this is how he compares the left eye implanted with the Oculentis M+, with the right eye implanted with a diffractive IOL. My vision is more defined in my left eye, with the colours being stronger, more vivid. My intermediate vision is better, but with my near vision, I think that I would need a little more vision. My near vision is better in the recently implanted eye. Before, I could not see with the eye operated four years ago, and now I have totally recovered my vision. Obviously, I can see better with the recently operated eye. It is a pity I can't change the other eye. Now we are going to show you a very interesting case of a 42-year-old male with unilateral traumatic cataract and a very active life, who was operated with the Oculentis M Plus in his cataract eye and how he compares the vision of the M Plus implanted eye with the other normal eye. The patient is already early press biop on the normal eye. Let's hear the opinions of the patient on how his vision is in the implanted eye when compared to the other. Right now I can see perfectly and a comparison with the left eye is that there is no difference. The only difference being the question of colours. The colours are more vivid and in the non-operated eye more dull. Reading is more comfortable. The only thing I cannot read is the small print on the information of medicines, but the rest of reading is perfect. Following the operation, perfect. I can see practically no difference between one eye and the other, but there is a difference in the colours. It has been a fabulous experience. This outstanding case is from a 60-year-old lady bilaterally implanted with a Restore diffractive IOL and unhappy after eight months of glare and photic phenomena which prevents her from driving at night and playing golf. This patient was explanted of the Restore lens and re-implanted with a low power plus 1.5 near vision add Oculentis M Plus. The patient will explain the remarkable change in her quality of life. Very much improved. I was very concerned when I had very blurred vision from the previous lenses. Um, when I had the operation, it was taking, I think, about five days when, after this operation that I realized my vision was going to be considerably better. And it's quietly improved since then. When I was looking at a distance, for example, a mountain, I could see the mountain, but it was so blurred. But more importantly, it was my golf ball. Um, the blurring around that was incredible. When it was about, say, um, 25 yards away from me, a ball was surrounded by a halo all the time. And that increased as it went further and further away till I couldn't see it at all. My near vision, um, I'm not using glasses. I am using glasses in the evening when the light is low and I, I like to read my library book. But for daily life, I'm needing no glasses at all. Quite frankly, I wouldn't have gone on a main road 
with the vision that I had with the lenses I had done in Britain, the headlights were literally so enormous. They could be three or four feet across each light would appear. It had been far too dangerous for me to drive on a motorway or I just went on local roads, you know, two or three miles and home again. Uh, my night vision was appalling. But in terms of my satisfaction, I'm delighted. The new concept of rotational, asymmetrical, multifocal optics works well in clinical practice. The loss of contrast sensitivity is almost nil with excellent visual and optical performance. The Oculentis M Plus behaves basically as a monofocal lens for far, with minimal or no photic phenomena associated to the multifocal performance and very good near and intermediate vision. This lens is implantable in unilateral cataracts and might be the solution for those patients in whom diffractive multifocal lenses have not obtained a good clinical outcome. In these cases, the M Plus can maintain the near vision outcome obtained by the diffractive lenses, relieving the patient from the photic phenomena and especially from glare and night halos. This lens compares well with normal non-cataractous eye and also with diffractive multifocal lenses being appreciated as providing a sharper image with less light disturbances and better quality of vision. The Oculentis M Plus demonstrates that alternative optics to diffractive rotational symmetrical lenses are a new alternative for restoring near vision following lens surgery.